Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're back with the Midwest Express. Today is Monday, July 25th. We're gonna do our numbers breakdown like we do every week. And uh, starting it off this week, uh, we start at the bottom, work our way up. In the beginning, it was Grubhub. I worked a seven hour block. I made $130 in that seven hours, averaged out to $18.57 an hour. And uh, I have noticed that there's a lot more orders with Grubhub than I'm traditionally seeing uh, when you have a block. However, there was a lot more small orders. And I think a lot of that has to do with that Amazon Prime uh, free membership with Grubhub uh, introductory. So a lot of people are trying out Grubhub but maybe they were DoorDash customers before and they're just not tipping as much. So that and there's not as many orders as there used to be. You know, the, the world's changing, things are getting different. Uh, the economy's in a bad place, but you know, the rich are getting richer. If you own property, you're loving life right now. Rent is going up, things, it, people that have money are making money right now. So they are still investing, they are still buying food, they are you know, ordering groceries, they are doing all these things still because they have money. But uh, the middle class, I think uh, the middle class uh, people that ordered are not as often. And, uh, and if they are ordering still, they're not tipping as much. So just something to keep in mind, guys. Uh, next online was uh, DoorDash. I, had my app on almost nine hours. I was six hours actively dashing. I made $187 in that six hours of dashing and it averaged out to 31.16 per hour. Spark. This week, Spark was atrocious. And you know, when you don't see a bonus with Spark and you don't see no incentives, that's a key sign that it's gonna be a slow week. And there's a lot more people out there doing Spark than ever before. A lot of you guys uh, might be new to Spark. And when you first start Spark, it's kind of the honeymoon phase. Everybody's in this idea that it's easy, right? It's like it's like, it's like like baseball. You, you catch the ball, you throw the ball, you hit the ball. It's that simple, right? Uh, with food grocery delivery, you pick up the order, you drop off the order, you let the customer know. It's that easy. When you first start, you're like in this honeymoon stage where you're getting good orders and there might be bonuses or incentives at first. And you're like, this is awesome. You're clocking 30 something dollars an hour. And you're like, this is where the money is at. Uh, this week with Spark, I worked 14 hours total with Spark. Out of that 14 hours, I made $328. And 150 of that 328 was rollover stuff from last week. So I averaged $23.42 an hour. But truthfully, if I didn't get that rollover from the last week's bonuses, which I really didn't even like those bonuses, <laughs> I thought they were <laughs> kind of harnessing me up anyways. If you got those bonuses last week, then you know, you're all right this week, but that 23 should probably be like 1150, almost $12 an hour that I earned with Spark this week. If you, if you average it out without the bonuses. So this is my, this is my mantra. And I told you guys this, if you've been here a little while, I do Spark when there's bonuses. If there's no bonuses, I shy away from Spark, and I only did 14 hours this whole week. This week also, I shifted gears. I went back to Rideshare, because I know Rideshare could be a, a money baller for me. I have an XL vehicle. I can take groups of seven and you know do groceries. I, I love having this van, and it offers me a lot of opportunities to switch gears between different uh, apps and platforms. So. That was Spark. Then it was Uber on top this week. I worked 14 hours with Uber. I made $562 with that, and it averaged out to $40.14 an hour. Now, I did have one huge ride that was from Madison to Milwaukee. A gentleman and his family had broke down. 
they really didn't want to take <laughs> take an Uber, but they were in a rock and a hard place. And you know, they gave me a gracious tip at the end too. So it ended up being a really decent uh, hit there, which I think it was like $160 for three hours invested, like an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. So, so this week I worked a total of 40 hours. I made $1,200 and seven dollars pre-fuel okay so that averaged out pre-fuel i made thirty dollars and 19 cents an hour but you know on this channel i try to keep it as real as possible for you guys so i drove a total of 820 miles this week my van averages 37.5 miles to the gallon i use 22 gallons of fuel Gas is still dropping. It's now 409 average for my area. So I spent $90, rounded up, $90 in fuel this week. Also with the vehicle depreciation, and I'm gonna have a video out uh, later this week so you guys can see how I calculate vehicle depreciation. But my vehicle depreciation with that 820 miles driven, my vehicle depreciated $123 in value this week. So, after vehicle depreciation, fuel, the whole kit caboodle this week, I made $994 for a 40 hour work week and it averaged out to $24.85. Now, that, that's good money. I mean, that's nothing to scoff at for, for doing what we do, right? But there was some early hours. There's some late hours in that, too. Uh, nothing late, late. I mean, to me, late is 8 o'clock in the evening. But I, I want everybody to realize that I'm not, I'm not trying to hype up gig work, okay? On my channel, I want you guys to know what the real deal is. And I've been doing gig work for almost a year and a half now, solid, full-time, all the time, right? And I was getting frustrated. This, this channel is only a month, like five weeks old. I did start, I, I started this channel kind of out of frustration. Um, I was doing ride share all the way through the tail or the beginning of the year. The ride share was doing really well. And then soon as summertime came and the students left, and then a lot of students started driving, a lot of people that work during the school year started driving and I started noticing, oh my God, there's more people. There's not enough customers. I got to do something else. So I went back to Spark because Spark was offering incentives. And then after a little while, I jumped on the Lyft bonus and I got some incentives there and I made really good money doing Lyft. And, you know, but if Lyft doesn't have bonuses, it's not really beneficial. If, if Spark doesn't have bonuses, it's really not beneficial. You have to take advantage of the bonuses when they're there. And this is a hard grind. And I'm not selling it to anybody as a, you're going to get rich or you should do this. In fact, I want to say maybe when I first started the channel, my brother said, doesn't seem like you're trying to talk people into doing this. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not trying to talk people into it. I just want them to know about the pitfalls and how hard it is. You know, if you don't, you know, a lot of YouTubers, everybody's seen all the, the thumbnails, you know, make so much. And I, if you've seen my video last week, uh, my earnings video last week, and the thumbnail, I said, make $60 an hour. And that was clickbait. And that was, I'm telling you, that's the last time I will ever do a clickbait thumbnail like that. But in the video, if you watch the video, you would see that I told you right after I made that $60 an hour, I broke it down how it was kind of bullshit. And it was based on bonuses. And that wasn't all the time. And then I showed you how much I actually made hourly that week. And I had a comment yesterday from a gentleman named uh, Timothy slaughter and i'll put it up here it says don't care how many apps you run how many phones you hook up you are not making 60 dollars an hour or any semblance of a regular basis sir 
you and your channel are the reason everybody is doing this crap, but no one is making money. You should stop already. <laughs> when I read that, I was just like, well, he didn't, he didn't watch the video, obviously. He just saw the thumbnail. And the thumbnail is the clickbait. And I don't think anybody looks at a thumbnail and says, Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start driving Uber. I saw a thumbnail that says you could make six dollars an hour. No, they're gonna watch the videos, they're gonna read it. Uh and, and study it and research and everything along those lines. But and, and I responded back to him. I said, uh, you obviously have not watched the whole video. You should watch the video before you make a comment. I'm happy you are here, but if you want to participate. You should watch the videos. <laughs> and that, you know, I've, I've been guilty of that myself. I see a, a thumbnail and I like jump in. I want to be first to comment or whatever when I was actively watching YouTube videos when I first started. Uh, you think you know the whole story before you even watch the video. But Tim, I hope you're still here. I hope that you see what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to bait people into this. Uh, when I was talking to my brother, and he was like, you're not, it doesn't seem like you're talking people into it. If I could talk people out of doing this, then they're probably, if you watch one of my videos and you're like, I don't want to do rideshare. It's not worth it to me. Too much hassle, too much pain in the butt. Then it was worthwhile me doing the video and you probably weren't made for gig work. Because you guys are going to find out that as you get started, there's a lot of bumps in the road. There's a lot of things you kind of learn along the way that you're just like, oh, that was painful. Oh, this is, this is not what I was hoping for, right? So I wanted to share one more... One more comment that was uh, shared with me from Adriana G., she says, this weekend was horrible. Friday, Walmart was not having the orders ready. And a little frowny face. I had to cancel twice, then went home, couldn't handle it anymore. Then today, Sunday, got two orders with good pay. Once I started the orders, they went down to $10. Next order, I arrived at the store, checked in two minutes later, and the order disappeared. <laughs> Decided to go home. I was so angry, laugh out loud. I just took the day off. Last week, I made $1,000. This week, I made 350 That is gig work, guys. That is what you are signing up for. You are... And it's... It's almost addictive. You you get a day where you are, you rally, you get a ride that was $160 in three hours, and you're like, oh, yeah, I love doing this job, right? And then your next ride is a ride to Walmart. Somebody wants to fill your van to the hilt, and they only want to go four blocks to their house. And you made a whole dollar twenty. It took them 15 minutes just to load your van. That is gig work. So... Before you get into it, I want you to know what the deal is, see what's ahead of you, and then make a decision for yourself. Quite often when I do rideshare, a lot of riders all the time, just like I was when I was a rider. So how much can I make doing this? I have a car, I'm a bartender, I'm a waitress. And I tell them, I was like, well, if you're a bartender and you're getting done right before bar time, or right after bar time, you could jump out, probably grab a couple rides, make 30, 40 bucks an hour for a couple hours. <coughs> Excuse me. But you could make that money really quick at those times between one and three in the morning if you want to be out. But if you're a bartender, it makes sense, right? I don't want to go out at that time. I don't want to deal with the drugs. But there, it, gig work makes sense for certain people. People that are going to be able to cherry pick set times. Moms that have kids that want to pick up Spark on a Saturday morning, you know, that have the day off. Or stay-home moms that are going to keep their kid in the car with them while they go do grocery delivery. You know, 
Spark does have policies about having children in the car, and they got to be able to stay in the car by themselves, blah, blah, blah. You can look that up. So, <sighs> well, moving on. <laughs> it's Monday. I'm going to get out. I'm going to probably do ride share today. I already cleaned the car this morning, got everything going. It's 9 a.m. I'm going to head to the airport, see if I can catch some rides there and kind of move on and then... We'll see where it goes. It's a beautiful day in Wisconsin. It's 67 degrees and hardly a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful. So might call it a wrap early and go home if nothing's popping. So have a great one, guys. See you on the next one. Make sure you leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, and we are out.